Oh, Charlie. What was that for? I'm not sure. I was just worried you weren't going to come. Don't be silly. Of course I was going to be here. I know. I was just afraid. Hey, there's no need to be afraid of anything here. Unlike your last job, there's no firing squad for motivation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's hard to believe all that's behind me. Not only do I have you to thank for getting me out of there, but getting me into this role as well. All I did was mention you to Dr. Vargas. He knew what he needed and you fit the bill. Obviously, he knows talent when he sees it. Hopefully, he likes my work. He can't exactly go to the Texan warlords for a reference. Well, that's a good sign. Now you're the one making jokes about it. Hi there. I'm Dr. Pereira. Yes. I, uh, thought I might get to know who I'm going to be working with? Oh, right. Certainly. Adam Baxter. You enjoying the, uh, MRI scanner? Ah, yes. Forgive me. It's just been some time since my last lab work. After the accident, no institution would take me. I feel as though I may wake up and have this dream of an assignment taken from me. Don't worry. Dr. Vargas is an excellent judge of talent. I can guarantee that this isn't merely out of pity. This is something of a last chance for me. We must succeed. You must be the famous Dr. Pereira I've been hearing so much about. Famous? The way Dr. Vargas has been going on, you must have been his star pupil. You're right. I'm Victor Pereira. Vicky. Dr. Vargas mentioned me? Wouldn't shut up about you. Like you were Watson, Crick, and Einstein rolled into one. Or more like Oppenheimer, perhaps. Hey, what we did before isn't the key point. It's what we can do with the skills we've brought with us. All right, then. What's your field? Organic computing, mostly. I studied under Dr. Vargas. Ah, we've probably got some overlap, then. You look familiar, Doctor. Nina Jong, pleased to meet you. AI and synthetic awareness studies. I remember. Dr. Vargas was a big fan of your work. He's assembling his dream team. That's what you get with an absurdly huge grant. Not that I'm complaining. And you are? Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. My friends call me Gwen. I was brought in from Bulawayo. What was your field? Embryonic baseline engineering. She's a real artist, building new animals from scratch. Angiosperms, mostly. Still not sure why I'm here. You got any idea what's going on? Come on, you're the only one of us who's met Vargas in person. Do you have any idea what's going on? I couldn't help you, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, you're killing us. You expect us to believe he didn't tell his star pupil. Well, I might know. But I know how theatrical he can be. It'd mean a lot to him to be the one to reveal it. Whatever it is, this is some impressive hardware they've got. That and the secrecy says government work to me. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. As you look around, you will see some of the finest scientific minds of this generation. These minds have at their disposal the most cutting-edge tools available to humankind. Newton has decided like an increasing number of cities to invest in AI management. But they want no mere computer to run traffic patterns and coordinate electricity grids. They have asked me for something infinitely more advanced. They have asked me for the future. I have selected you for this venture because I believe that together we can make this future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Central Project. This is the place Jinsel said to meet up at. Ugh, what a dump. The city just gets worse and worse every time I leave the trance. Hey, no entry. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into the trance den. And I'm stopping you. What? Why? Maybe I don't like the look of you. Maybe we're full. Either way, shove off. Come on, there must be something I can do to get in. What do I need to do? Huh, we get that a lot. Some thrall drags themselves up here, says they'll do anything. Shows how desperate you people are. Can I pay to get in? I don't know. Can you pay to get in? Um... Exactly. You wouldn't be dressed up in Skanto blue overalls if you could. 
You ain't even got shoes. Maybe I could do something for you? <laughs> I like them skinny, but you look like you'd break a bone if someone looked at you too hard. You wouldn't believe how many greasy thralls try to get in that way, though. I... what? No! Ew! No! I meant hacking! Hmm. City Utilities did cut the water again. What happened to the water? Bills weren't being paid. I needed all my quanta to pay off the bookies after Pakistan lost last month's game. Gambling debts? Hey, like you're in a position to judge anyone. Thrall. Anyway, Central Utilities shut down the water. Now we can't grow any more wetware. What do you want me to do about the water supply? I'm a hacker, not a plumber. The flow's controlled by a terminal in the sewer. I want you to breach it and get my water back. Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. repair tool. Probably what they claim it's for, at least. Too easy. Can I go in? You got the water going again, so yeah, we got all we need for more wetware. Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. Mandela. I trust you made it here without too much difficulty. Nothing I couldn't handle. I'm not used to all this meat space stuff, though. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself resourceful. You said you knew more about the guy who tried to kill me. You and your Jilly... Holly... Jahilia. In fact, there's been a breakthrough since we last spoke. Unfortunately, security is still an issue. It's a public server in a den. I guess anyone could be in here. Even other cell agents. It is good to see you understand the value of privacy. I don't need anyone else finding out where I am. What do you need? Jehoia's hackers have managed to block any further connections to this server. You must now help us in clearing out any remaining users. I'll do what I can. Isam, we must have privacy before we can reveal what we found. Those remaining in the server must be... persuaded to leave. This might take some work in meat space again. It is a testament to your strength that you work so well outside your comfort zone. Don't get used to it. Once this whole nuked up mess is sorted out, I am never leaving the trance again. I'll get back to ruining everyone's evening. Big Hi there. Evening. Something bothering you? Not obvious, huh? I can see it right through the trance. What's up? Well... I gotta come out to these dens to trance, right? Except for the last couple of times, it's not gone so well. Wiring problems? Worse. Someone keeps going through my pockets while I'm under. I disconnect and find someone's gone with all my quanta. Jeez, sorry to hear. Poverty's my answer to that problem. <laughs> this time I'm hiding it. They won't find any money on me. 
Let me get back to you. Sink you later. Hi there. What? What's up? If you must know, I'm partaking in the digital experience. Apparently more vivaciously than you. How do you think it? You're just standing floating there. I'm Hey, shut up! You're ahead. Very astute. And you're behind. No, I mean, you're just a floating head. Why are you just a floating head? Because unlike some people, I'm choosing to take credits to its full potential. We can look like whatever we want, but some people just look like people. Ooh, human body, two legs, two arms. How original. I like having legs. Yeah, it's so limited, though. Realists like you have no imagination. Hey, who are you calling a realist? Is this one of your usual trans spots? Yeah, it's acceptable most of the time. Mostly because I'm not being bothered by inane questions from plebes. It looked a little dirty outside to me. Yeah, I know, it's disgusting. Not a problem? No, I got my usual spot to crash under the pipes. It's the cleanest place in the den. Lousy. It's really, really uncool to steal from someone who's in the trance. But I'm in something serious. Huh. She doesn't even have anything on her. This is a lot of quanta for someone to lose in the sofa. Oh, ew! What do you want? Much as I hate to bring up meat space stuff. Spit it out. Actually, that's what you might need to do. The sewage pipe over your head's burst. What? How'd something like that happen? I've uh, no idea. Nuke it. Nuke, 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 nuke it. I will not be giving the server any positive feedback on my blog. Hi there. Evening. Hey, um, I don't know how to tell you this. What is it? Well, I was just offline a second ago, you know, finding some food. Anyway, I saw this guy going through your stuff on the sofa. Oh, Nuke, he found it? Damn. What'd he look like? A big guy, lots of muscle. Wait, did he have an animated snake tattoo on his arm? White hair? He might have. I know who it was. I'm gonna kill that asshole when I get home. Max is right. He sounds like a terrible individual. Thanks for your help. I, uh, yeah. What the hell? You just cost me my overseas business. You're barred, Thrall. But I've got to get in there. Go nuke yourself. Guess that proves where they were from. What can you make of these? Well, they got the formulas in here. You sure got some interesting tasting drinks, Missy. 
Howdy there, miss. What can I get you? I'm feeling adventurous. Sulfuric acid, please. Coming right up. Don't spill that now. Ciao. Hey, you got here just in time! For what? The end of the world, baby! Uh-oh. Here we go! What a rush, huh? What just happened? What is this, Sim? Get nuked, man. Excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry. That's the name of the sim. Get nuked? That's a bit... A bit on the nose, but it does what it says on the wrapper. That's what people come here to do. Get nuked. I think I've had enough explosions for one week. So, what's it about? The whole history of atomic warfare, baby. If you can think of a time where they've dropped the bomb, this sim gives you the chance to experience it. Wow, I've seen people make some pretty weird stuff in the trance. I guess I'm not in a position to judge. Darn straight. Besides, it's not just historical interest, it's for fun. With online map data, you can set it to nuke anywhere in the world. So where are we? The beach? Siege of Singapore, 12 years ago. Smack bang in the middle of the Timuhani War. Huh? The most deadly atomic conflict in history, babe. China, Pakistan, and India- Uh, you, you're you not from around there, are you? Why do you say that? Well, you kind of look- I could be a bald man in my 50s for all you know. Just thought I'd check. Don't bite my head off. You might have lost family in it. I have no idea where I'm from. Refugee raised in Newton. Oh yeah! <laughs> we nicked them last week as well. What are your favorites? My top five? Castle Bravo, Hiroshima, Singapore, New Delhi, and Vegas. Some Zift came in earlier, wanted Nagasaki. <laughs> Would you believe? I'm all like, they already did Japan three days earlier. But get some originality, man. Can we have a go at flattening Newton? I'm in the mood to take it out on the city. Sorry, babe. The server's only running the shareware version. I'm afraid Singapore's all we get. Why are you here, then? You sound like an enthusiast. Yeah, but Leon, the guy who runs this place, he lets me admin it. I'm in charge of all things atomic in this server. I was just wondering, would you be able to disconnect? I can't really tell you why, but it's really important. Say what? I can't leave now. I've got the nuke server to look after. Maybe if you go and you next get killed by the blast or the fallout? Hey, if mortality was on, we'd all have been wasted by that last one. While God mode is on, nothing can kill us. Sink you later. Catch you in the afterglow. The acid's eaten right through the panel cover. Here we go! Nice game, loser. Hey, how about best 16 out of 30? Ha ha. Jerk. Hi there. Yo. I need to clear everyone from the server. It's for personal reasons. Sorry, lady, but I'm not going anywhere till I beat this guy. What if I beat him for you? Ha, <laughs> good luck. You'd still get to see him lose. All right. You've got a deal. You beat him, and I'll retire for the night. 
Thanks. No problem. Hi there. What's up? Let's go. Bring it on. Damn. 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 Oh yeah! Another win for Team Awesome! I've got better things to do. You'll be back. Excuse me? This city's destruction is at hand! What's with the shouting? I must call to the unsaved that they may hear. They need to know the word of God's love. It sounds to me like you're harassing them. Go on, what's the message? I'm listening. The kingdom of heaven is nearly upon us. We must prepare and seek his salvation. Turn aside from this false paradise of yours. The trance? You don't like the trance. It is a false promise of paradise. They will lead you into the belief that it can be achieved without faith in him. So you don't like the competition the trance gives religion? There are claims of those within that it is a new promised land. But it is not but a wretched hive of sin and debauchery. I don't like the word thrall, but... I guess you could say I spend a lot of time in the trance. Then it is my mission to save you. I must place you on the path to his salvation. I must show you the way. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument, I agreed with you. How does someone get on that path? Hear me, my child. There are three stages. His kingdom, then the material, mortal world. Lastly, the mire of the virtual, wherein you are trapped. So, how do I get out of the virtual? We must start you outwards, and first give you an anchor in the material. While the virtual may seem to contain all the pleasures of the flesh, we must show you what the material can offer to begin the way up. Which is? The book says to use what he has given us, and I have been blessed with powerful barbiturates. You want to use drugs to get me off the trance? The pleasures of the material can rival that of the virtual. Thence, we can lead you to those of the divine. What church should you say you belong to? Think of it in terms of replacement therapy. A tried and true method for recovery from addictions. We must wean you away from the sin of the trance. I've been thinking about what you've been saying. I definitely want to repent. Hallelujah, my child. This is a glorious day. Yes, um... Rejoice! Are you prepared to begin your spiritual journey? Yes, praise be... etc. Very well. But first, a donation is required. Wait, what? The means to salvation bear a cost, my child. Narcotics are expensive to come by. Bye. Repent before it is too late. Hellfire awaits the unsaved. Hey, I'd like to make a donation. That is most kind, my child. Allow me to put you on the first step away from worldly pain and despair. Remember where to find salvation, should you happen to need more. Got the whole dose. This should be interesting. Uh. 
Hi there. What's up? Let's go. Bring it on. Gotta, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, well, I better just, I don't, I don't feel so good. Nothing I couldn't handle. I don't know what you did, but that was worth sticking around to see. A deal's a deal. I'll log off. Maybe we'll spar sometime. How is your progress? It's just you and me. Server's empty, we're alone. Excellent, I feel much safer. You going to tell me what's going on now? I shall, but first, tell me, why do you enjoy the trance? There's so much that can be done with it. The world we've built for ourselves, where the old laws, even physics, aren't necessary. We've had the net for a century, and we've still barely scratched the surface. I want to shape my future and be a part of something bigger. That's what the trance is for. I suppose you could say you were born for this? It feels like it, sometimes. Mandela, we've been taking scans of your connection. We have never seen a sync ratio as high as yours. The trance is literally where you belong. We need your assistance. You need my help? What can I do? More than you realize, inshallah. The reason you were targeted is linked to your unusual natural affinity for the trends. They want to kill me because my connection's too fast? Not directly. It goes deeper than that, to the very structure of your brain. Do you recall what Guy was doing in that cell you shared with him? Yeah, he was your relay, wasn't he? You were connecting to cell's systems through him? Precisely. He was a vital part of the operation. But thanks to the psychophage, he is indisposed to us. Let me guess. You want me to be a relay for you? With a sync ratio like yours? The bandwidth would be... Incredible. Your hackers would be running petabytes through my wiring. But you'd need me to get close, right? To the systems of the people trying to kill me? Okay, I'll do it. I need to find out who's after me and I haven't got any other options. Wonderful, Mandela. Jahilia is behind you all of the way. Until they're dealt with, I can't get back to my life on the net. Though you are strong in the trance, it makes you vulnerable in the outside world. If they're targeting me because of my affinity for the trance, I'll do poetic justice if I turn it against them to help you. What do I have to do? Shukran Mandala. Justice shall be done. They operate from an old Aerostat terminal, Xanadu Airframe. Head there. We will remain in contact with you. Great, more walking. And now, we must crash the server. Good luck, Mandala. Dr. Regis? Hey, Dr. Regis. Yo! I'm sorry, Nina. I'm just not used to that name yet. Congratulations, by the way. Isn't it kind of old-fashioned, though, taking his name? You know, Charlie, he's a traditional kind of guy. Yeah, they sure don't make him like that anymore. He's definitely brought some of his homeland with him. It wasn't that important to me anyway. I guess families are still doing that in those parts. Speaking of families, you guys planning on starting one? It's our only issue at the moment. Everything else we agree on, except that. Everyone's got to have some kind of drama. Neither of you want to give up the career to become a full-time parent? It's not that, it's just our backgrounds. Ah, uh, he's from a hot zone, isn't he? It's not just Charlie. My work with the inspectors wasn't good for me, either. It isn't that I never want kids. You'd just rather they came out with all the parts they're supposed to have. I guess you could say that. We're going to do it safely. We've got a specialist involved. With Charlie's background, I'm surprised he's not growing them himself. And again, they might go bang if he did it. Too far? Yes. I'll just get back to the decompiling. 
Dr. Vargas? In here, my dear. What are you doing? Roadman 9 and 46. Dr. Chigwa is mapping my brain activity. In many ways, our product will share more in common with us than other computer platforms. Intermittent rostrocaudal axis patterns. Tell me, what do you think would be the best manner to train such an AI? Naturally, it can handle abstractions better than conventional AI. Plus, we have millennia of experience and tradition when it comes to education. I somewhat agree with you. Do you hear that, Gwen? Mm-hmm. Though Dr. Chigwa agrees that conventional programming is impossible, she is considering the possibility of imprinting existing mind states within the platform. Quick for the AI, but utilizing a person's natural experience? Though it may not be my philosophical ideal, it is an intriguing experiment. Ah, it is good to be working with you again, Dr. Pereira. I mean, Dr. Regis. Congratulations again on the wedding. It's been too long since Buenos Aires, Eduardo. You were my brightest student, Fiksha. I felt so conflicted when you were awarded that field position. That feels like so long ago. I was ready for something more sedentary. And this project, it's like nothing else I've ever worked on before. It's groundbreaking, the next big step in artificial intelligence. I'm really grateful you could take Charlie on board. I can see how much he means to you, Dr. Regis. Your opinion and welfare means a great deal to me. Of course, I would not have taken him if I did not think him capable. I am afraid that we have hit an obstacle. Though we have a solid theoretical groundwork, we cannot proceed. Why not? We've built a gene map for the organic processors. Get Charlie or Dr. Chigwa to run it through a flash clone. Alas, that is where our problem lies. Our plans depend upon the development of neural tissue. The flash clones develop with none for legal and ethical reasons. There might be another option. Nina gave me the idea. We need normal embryos to engineer, not the flash clones, right? That is our problem. The Council will not be able to provide them quickly enough. Well, Charlie and I have been trying for kids. As a result, we have several fertilized embryos frozen. Viksha, I hope you are saying what I think. We could, perhaps, donate. You do not know what this could mean to us. You have saved us, Viksha. In a way, you may yet be the surrogate mother of the central AI. Whoa, big spike in activity there. You think Charlie will be okay with that? Hey, he spent years modifying embryos himself. I'm sure he'll be all right. You got in? Yeah. Now to find out who our mysterious benefactor is. Good luck. I'll keep the car moving. Hopefully Central won't start asking too many questions. Copy that. Regis out. Are you Dr. Regis? Yes. You must be the welcoming committee. They're waiting for you upstairs. Hold on. Gotta search you first. If that's what it takes. One cell issue charge pistol. It will be kept safely for you until business is concluded. Gee, thanks. You may proceed upstairs. Oh, Lord. Nina, you're the one I've been talking to. You made it at last, Charlie. How are you? If I'd known it was you in my head, I'd never have agreed to come. Now, Charlie, that's not fair. Let's put the past behind us. What happened to Vicky affected us all. You've got some nerve. If you think... In fact, the reason I've invited you is to help fix mistakes arising from the project. What do you mean? Allow me to introduce everyone here. Councilman Dean. Good evening, Dr. Regis. Ran Schumann. You don't look like much. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores. Charmed, I'm sure. And I believe you've already spoken to Mr. Stepford here. Oh my, yes. All of us are here because of a common cause. The removal of Central. What? I mean, you can't just... It's a difficult proposition, and we need the help of someone like yourself. 
In exchange, we have the means to assist you with your personal crisis. You've always dreamed big, haven't you, Nina? We know exactly where your offspring are. Don't dismiss us outright. We can help each other, Charlie. Listen to what we have to say. <laughs>